All right, welcome back to stoichiometry. This is going to, this is where we left off. We were going from uh, moles to grams. So now we're going to go to grams to grams, okay? Now you can also go from grams to moles. And I'll try to show you this one, but I don't have one on here. We'll do some of those in class. Um, again, this is the same uh, problem that we had in the other three videos. Again, you're gonna underline what's given. Okay, so we're looking for how many grams of NO is produced. So there's what we're looking for. Um, we're going to use start with 12 grams of oxygen. Okay, and we have excess ammonia. So here's our oxygen right here. So this is what we would, uh, would look at. If you remember from the last video that these numbers here are your mole ratios. So it's the amount of moles or molecules. We're going to consider them as moles right now. So it takes four moles, to five, uh, four moles of NH3 to five moles of O2 to produce to yield six high, uh, waters and four uh, NOs, okay? So on this one, this is what we start with, okay? And instead of putting a multiplication sign there, we're gonna put our railroad tracks, okay? And you're gonna start with what's given on top. What's on the top goes on the bottom. This is gonna be your molar mass, okay? Because we have grams, so we have to have grams, and grams is your molar mass. This is our conversion factor from the mole conversions. Okay, one mole is equal to uh, 32 grams of O2. Okay, the grams are gonna cancel out. We're gonna look for our mole ratio because now we're in the mole. And our ratio, our mole ratio is five to four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our railroad traps, the uh, railroad tracks, and you put your mole ratio. What's on the top goes on the bottom. Moles of oxygen, moles of oxygen. The five goes right here because it's the moles of oxygen. The four moles of nitrogen, I mean, uh, nitrogen monoxide would be right here. So we're getting our mole ratio. This is your mole ratio. Okay. So we're not, now we're in the moles of NO. So we went from grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen to moles of NO, but we need to go to grams of NO. So we add, because the moles are gonna cancel out, we're gonna add more to our railroad tracks and we have four railroad tracks, okay? Um, since we have moles of NO here, mole, on top, moles of NO goes on the bottom. So what's on the top goes on the bottom. What's on top here will be your mole, Molar, sorry, molar mass, okay, of NO, and it happens to be 30.01. And if you forget how to do that, remember we broke it down, multiply across, add down, and you get your number of uh, molar, molar mass ratio. Okay, what you're going to do now, remember there's a one here, so it crosses out, cross out your ones. What's on top gets multiplied. So what's going into your calculator is 12 times four times 30.01 divided by what's on the bottom, divided by 32 divided by five, okay? Multiply what's on top, divide by what's on bottom. When you put this in your calculator, you will get 9.0 grams of NO, okay? 9.0 grams of NO, and you'd box that in, okay? So basically, what you do with this is it's just longer. You start with grams, you end with grams, but you notice everything cancels out except for grams of NO, which is what we are trying to find. So you go from grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen, grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen, moles of oxygen to moles of NO, from moles of NO to grams of NO. You have to go through the mole and you have to use the mole ratio. The mole ratio comes from a balanced chemical equation. Balanced chem equation. Okay? Which is right here. If it's not balanced, you must balance it. Okay, so let's go ahead. We always use the same type of information to make the jumps between steps. So, you can go from grams to moles. You can go from moles to grams. That's why the arrow's back and forth. You can go from grams to moles. And you notice there's a X 
and an X. That is what we did in the last unit, grams to moles, okay, of the same substance. You can go from grams of X to, gra to moles of Y. You have to go through the mole, okay? You can go from moles to moles, moles of X to moles of Y. You can also go moles to grams of X to, from X to Y. You can finally go from grams to grams, but you have to do all four steps. You have to go from grams of X to moles of X, from moles of X to moles of Y, moles of Y to grams of Y. Why do we do this? Because you can do anything through the mole. Okay, we can convert from the mole. Okay, now whenever you have grams, let me see if I can get rid of some of this. Whenever you have grams, hopefully you can see through this. Whenever you have grams, molar mass. Whenever you have moles to moles, ratio from a balanced chemical equation. Okay, so they follow this pattern, okay? We can start anywhere along this path and do anything, but you have to convert um, from grams to one com compound to grams to another. You must go through the mole. Okay, this is one of the most important things on here. So copy that down. Okay, and I want you. Let's see if you can try some of these. I'm going to help you out just a little bit, and then I will show you the answers real quick. Okay, so how many moles of H2O, underline that, are made from uh, 1.6 moles of NH? This is a mole to mole problem, so it's only going to have two railroad tracks. What is the mass of NH3 when you're using this many moles of NO? Three railroad tracks, okay? How many grams of NO can be made from how many grams of in it, or from NH4. This one is four, okay? This one's only gonna go mole to mole, and this one's going to go from grams to mole to mole, and this one's gonna go from grams to mole to mole to grams. And remember, this is of X and Y, so that's a Y, sorry. This is going to be X, X, Y, X, X, Y. That's a Y. Y. And just remember, what's on top goes on the bottom. What's on top goes on the bottom. What's on top goes on the bottom. Okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, here's the answers if you need them. Okay, so have a good night, guys. See you in class.